Hello and welcome to Sin Speak, the channel where we talk about all things movies. Today, we're going to be talking about the Quentin Tarantino classic, Django Unchained. Strap in, because this is going to be a wild ride. Now, before we get started, I want to issue a disclaimer. This review is going to be chock full of spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, you might want to hit pause and come back later. With that out of the way, let's dive in. First of all, let's talk about the cast. Jamie Foxx absolutely crushes it as Django, the slave-turned-bounty hunter on a mission to rescue his wife from the clutches of a brutal plantation owner. Christoph Waltz is equally brilliant as Dr. King Schultz, the bounty hunter who takes Django under his wing and helps him on his quest. And of course, we can't forget about Leonardo DiCaprio, who brings a chilling intensity to the role of Calvin Candy. But as much as I love the cast, there's one character who steals the show for me, Samuel L. Jackson Stephen. This guy is an absolute riot. He's like a cross between a crotchety old man and a pit bull, and every time he's on screen, you can't help but laugh. His interactions with Django are particularly hilarious, especially when he's trying to wrap his head around the fact that a black man could be a bounty hunter. Now, let's talk about the plot. Django Unchained is a revenge movie at heart, and it's not shy about it. Tarantino pulls no punches when it comes to the violence, and there are some scenes that are definitely not for the faint of heart. But for me, that's part of what makes the movie so satisfying. You're rooting for Django every step of the way, and when he finally gets his revenge on the people who have wronged him, it's incredibly cathartic. Of course, it wouldn't be a Tarantino movie without some stylistic flourishes. The use of music in this movie is particularly noteworthy. The opening credit sequence, set to the tune of Django by Louis Bakalov, sets the tone perfectly. And who can forget the scene where Django and Schultz ride into town to the sound of Jim Croce's I Got a Name. It's moments like these that elevate the movie from a standard revenge flick to something truly special. But as much as I love Django Unchained, it's not without its flaws. There are a couple of scenes that feel like they go on a bit too long, and and some of the dialogue can be a bit clunky at times. And as much as I love DiCaprio's performance, there are moments where his accent slips a bit, which can be a bit distracting. But all in all, Django Unchained is a movie that deserves its status as a modern classic. It's a revenge flick with heart, humor, and a whole lot of style. And if you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Grab some popcorn and settle in for a wild ride.